In a very significant development, the RDO Solid State Physics Laboratory has issued a tender for production of 10 gallium nitride high electron mobility transistors on 4 inch silicon substrates, which indicates that the DRDO has started prototype phase of gallium nitride high electron mobility transistors that will be used in the development of next generation long range airborne radars for next generation fighter jets as well as future ground-based air surveillance radar systems. Gallium nitride technology will provide multiple advantages like longer range, superior jamming capability, lower power consumption and less heat output. The British company Martin Baker had offered its upgraded MK-18 ejection seats for the Tejas Mark II AMCA UNTED BF program, but the Aeronautical Development Agency and Hindustan Aeronautics have now decided to stick with the tried untested MK-16 ejection seat for the Tejas Mark II fighter jets, which are also used on the Tejas Mark I aircraft and 36 Indian Rafale fighter jets and Hindustan Aeronautics will also sign a formal contract with Martin Baker for 93 ejection seats by the end of 2021 for the Tejas Mark 1A fighters. According to latest reports, the 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets will be equipped with L-band radar similar to the Russian Su-57, that will play a primary role of providing identification friend or foe capability, and a secondary role of detecting low observable stealth fighter jets, and it will also increase the engagement envelope of off-bore sight missiles. If backed by significant processing power, the L-band radar can also passively track and locate the L-band radar emissions from enemy wax aircraft or ground-based search radars, and the Tejas Mark 1A can execute high-powered active jamming on the enemy radar systems. The RDO's Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment had released a request for proposal for the manufacture and supply of indigenous 600 horsepower engines that will be used to power the 25-ton DRDO's wheeled armored platform that was initially powered by a 600 horsepower diesel engine from American engine manufacturer Cummins Corporation. After few minor modifications and demonstration of most of the capabilities, the Indian Army will soon place an order for more than 100 wheeled armored platform, and the government has also cleared it for export to friendly countries. The DRDO has started fabrication work on 10 units of indigenous man portable air defense systems that will be offered to the Indian Army as its $1.3 billion very short-range air defense system procurement of Russian Ligla S system has been stuck due to delays over complaints made by MBDA and subgroup in the competition. The 25 kg indigenous man portable air defense system will be ready for testing by the end of 2021, and will engage aerial targets in both day and night conditions at a range of 6 km. There are two contenders for indigenous man pad program, the first is DRDO with dual band infrared homing seeker from VEM Technologies, which has already established an advanced seeker manufacturing facility, and second contender is Bharat Dynamics Limited with a multi-spectral optical seeker from Tanbo Imaging. The fabrication and assembly facilities at the shipbuilding division of Mazagin Docks Limited have started idling from 2021, and after the completion of existing ship construction in the next four to five years, the idling of the facilities would increase to a substantially high level. The shipyard has the capacity to undertake simultaneous production of 10 warships and 11 submarines, and the shipyard has announced that it can immediately undertake construction of 4 more warships and 7 more submarines.